Alright guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we're going to be throwing some tickets for Anna Crow's FR weapon. There's no free multi on this one, uh, but we do have the return of Reno's LD weapon and Rude's LD weapon with Sid Reigns being the featured BTs. We're going to throw some tickets and see if I if I can get her FR weapon. Uh, if not, then, you know, it, it, it's all good. I... I might just uh, pull on my second account, but we'll see. Um, I'm still kind of like looking over the translations and whatnot from the rework that she got. And, uh, you know, I'm still kind of like undecided. Like, should I like fully build her and stuff like that, uh, et cetera, et cetera. So uh, we'll see how these pulls go. So as always, if you guys do enjoy the video, consider liking the video and subscribing for future Opera Omnia content. Uh, if you do play JP, do let me know how your pulls went down in the comments section below. And uh, yeah, let's uh, let's do this. Let's see how our pulls are gonna turn out. So we got 928 tickets. I think I'll probably stop at like, mm, like maybe 800, 750, somewhere around there. We'll, we'll see how these ticket pulls go. <clears throat> Alright, I that's a 35 LD and a Rude 35. Not a bad ticket multi to start off with. Alright. So, to kind of briefly talk about her rework, uh, uh, there were some things that did get changed. Uh, the, the One of the big things for me was going to be the the overhead. So, the overhead did actually get increased, and that is from her LD ability. So, now she grants uh, three uses of her LD ability. Uh, the only thing is, though, like, with her overhead, it, it, it reduces based on the action, right? Uh, or based on action usage. So by the time you finish using her LD, really you're only going to have two uses or uh, two stacks of her overhead uh, after you are done using her. So you're getting three, but one is going to be taken away uh, by the time you are done with your ability. Uh, the other thing with her, uh, what do you call it? Uh, I think it's, oh, it's, I believe it's her overhead if I'm not mistaken, or it's a buff. Yeah, I think it's the yeah th yeah it's the buff from her LD, uh, but um now she has a uh, brave consumption reduction after HP attack, so that means that um she is reducing the amount of brave that is being uh, used after an HP attack, which is good, and then she her she, since she enchants herself with holy and dark, it applies regardless of whether an attack has an element or not, so. Uh, basically if like, say, say if she's enchanted with like anything else outside of holy and dark, like she will go ahead and, uh, still deal that holy and dark damage. So not too shabby on that. Uh, her EX ability got, uh, an additional HP dump and she gets a free ability uses after her EX ability. And now she also starts off the fight with her... Uh, with her EX ability ready to go, which is uh, good as well. Let's see what we got. Uh, let's see here. Uh, her skill 1 got an additional HP dump. Um, let's see. There's something else I have to mention as well. Oh, uh, the Omega God, the, uh, the, the Big Mecha. So the Big Mecha got an increase in HP damage kappa by 300%. So that means uh, more HP damage that it's going to be dealing, which is not bad. All right, let's keep on going. Now, when it comes to her FR ability, uh, her FR ability, it's pretty easy to increase the stacks. Or increase the stacks. Increase the uh, the HP damage bonus. Uh, you pretty much have to do holy... Holy... Or you, Let's see. Do a holy attack command or do a dark attack command. Or um, whenever a character is doing an HP attack with held brave beyond max brave, uh, it increases as well. 
And then whenever a character while the FR gauge is active, uh, while they do elemental weakness brave damage, uh, they actually get an HP damage, a 50% HP damage up and a 50% held and brave, or held brave and HP damage cap up. So not, not a bad uh, FR weapon. Uh, basically, like this FR weapon is is not only focused on, uh, of course, and a crow dealing some hefty damage, uh, but it's also good uh, in terms of supporting the team so long as they're dealing elemental weakness brave damage. So it's not that bad. All right. Hmm, we're getting like everything else except for the FR. And it doesn't look like we're gonna be getting the FR. Which is kind of a bummer. Let's do some singles. If we don't get it, like I said, like I might just um I might just pull on my second account. So I'm not too concerned. Because I don't want to go too crazy on my main account. I want to keep on saving and building up a little bit of resources here and there. <laughs> and we get nothing. We ended off with a Route 35, so... Uh, we didn't get it, and also I'm speaking quietly because everybody's asleep right now. Uh, but yeah, we, we didn't manage to get it. Uh, I will, if I do manage to get it on my second account, I will, uh, I, I will at least do a showcase uh, for her as well. I know that Stimpy has already uploaded a showcase. Uh, by the time you see this video, uh, his showcase is already live. Uh, so I'll, I'll still upload my showcase just to kind of talk about and kind of like show off some of the rework, the rework that she got and. Uh, and what I mentioned in this video. So, uh, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Take care. And uh, I'll see you guys for the showcase or the Anna Cross uh, Shiryu fight. Take care.